Tonight, a Fox 59 special report. Imagine suddenly seeing the world differently and then discovering you've become something of a math genius. It's called sudden genius syndrome, and it happened to the man you're about to meet after a violent attack and head injury. His story of brain power has been told all around the world, but wait till you hear the story of why he and his family just moved here to central Indiana. What you see. When you see something move, your brain is taking pictures isn't what he sees. One part of your brain, it smooths out the picture frames. When that part of my brain was injured, it makes it so that I see the picture frames. And that's how Jason Paget's seen the world for nearly 20 years. In 2002, I was attacked in a robbery and uh, had a, a brain injury and a concussion. The first time I noticed anything was actually when I was coming home from the hospital. The next day, when I watched water go down the drain and the smoothness was gone, instead of it just flowing smoothly like it used to, it looked like little tiny straight, like little tangent lines uh, slowly spiraling down. And everything has a slightly pixelated look. It didn't just look like things were spinning sometimes, it felt like things were spinning. It was fascinating, it was also very scary. After being assaulted, um, he had a perceptual change, started seeing things differently. So algebra is just like a piece of graph paper. And uh, has a particular type of synesthesia where um, he sees lines. And for him, that translated into a, a greater understanding of mathematics. In fact, it would make Jason something of a math genius, eventually drawing out the equations and mathematical patterns he was seeing in his head. They put me in uh, these things called functional MRIs, and they found that I had conscious access to areas that we normally don't have conscious access to. I was diagnosed with savant syndrome or acquired savantism. They're syndrome, so it's not a diagnosis per se. Dr. Matt Dahl works at a research clinic in Wisconsin that's treated Jason for what they call sudden genius syndrome. There's not an infinite number of photons. It's a profile that we've seen in our research over the course of time, We're relatively rare. Um, we probably currently have a little over 100 people uh, that have reported these things. It's kind of mind blowing. It is. When this happened, I didn't have a traditional uh, math background. In fact, I, I didn't even finish algebra in high school. But after going back to school, now Jason says he sees math in just about everything, from the clouds in the sky to the roads that we drive, every shape, every circle, part of an equation we can all learn from. Math is literally everything. We are math. Uh, the universe is, everything that we experience is. What an experience it's been giving TED Talks, news interviews around the world. Now he even has a book. If you could see the world through my eyes, you would know how perfect it is. But it hasn't all been perfect, like any life story full of pluses and minuses. Like many of our savants also had, you know, this downside. He describes a significant amount of uh, anxiety and OCD symptoms. This has caused me to be a germaphobe. It made risks become much more obvious. Last year, that risk felt very real. In the epicenter of COVID and rising crime near their home in the Seattle area, Jason and his wife felt they needed a change. So they used their love of math and science to make a computer program to pick their new hometown. Ooh, that's really nice. We wrote a, a basic program uh, and just put in the things that we wanted in the city from low crime to affordability to good low taxes. And the answer? Carmel and Westfield would always pop up like in the top five. Uh, of, of our search, and we moved here sight unseen. Guided here, as always, by the numbers, Jason's new hometown, just another amazing tangent in this mathematically miraculous life story. Every variable involved, his fame, his family, all the blessings in his life, Jason says, trace back to that fateful night he was attacked on the street. What's funny is in the long run, it turned out to be the best thing that ever happened to me. I would not have my children, I wouldn't have my wife, I wouldn't have the book, I wouldn't have a movie, I wouldn't have my family, and I wouldn't have this new love for life and this fascination just with everything, things moving, just by the clouds, patterns forming, uh, the way the wind works. Uh, everything around us is mathematical and it's beautiful, yet we don't notice it and appreciate just the fact that we even exist is, is stunning. Just a stunning life story indeed. There is indeed even a movie deal that could be in the works about Jason's life, but mainly Jason says 
He really just wants to teach people about math and some of the interesting things that he's discovered. So we have some more video online that gets into some of the things he studied closely, like the number pi and how he says circles aren't really perfect circles. Kind of interesting if you want to check that out. We have more of that on our website at fox59.com. You can also get this story sent straight to your phone. Just text the word math to the number you see there on your screen. Pretty fascinating wow. guy. I actually just I met him a, f a couple months back at, at a local park while well, he, he and his kids were out there at the playground and he started telling me about some of the things he's experienced really. Just Remarkable. That's what I was mind. just going to yeah. bring up. You randomly just met him and yeah. there was the story. Yeah, he just moved here. Thought, wow, wow. fantastic and uh, really, really interesting guy for sure. A lot of numbers yeah. to no get doubt. him just exactly. to move here. Right. <laughs> wow.